that is uh, this uh, bag of word and TFIDA, right? So uh, here is an example you can see. So we have three reviews. Okay, this movie is very scary and long. This movie is not scary and is slow. This movie is spooky and um, spooky and good, right? So these are the three different review uh, short sentences we have. Now, first of, uh, first of all, what we have to do, we have to create our vocabulary, which is basically the function of bag of word, right? That means so how we do this, uh, generate this vocabulary, we need to find out what are the unique words are there. Okay, so based on uh, these three sentences, here are the unique words we found. Okay, and we just uh, do, uh, give me one minute, please. Appearing two times in a sentence, that is going to be counted and that is, you know, that number of presence of each word in a sentence is going to be uh, con you know, considered here. All right, so let's do this, uh, you know, uh, simple mathematics using Python. Okay, so, okay, so this is the part of uh, doing uh, the, you know, vectorization of the simple uh, vectorization of the sentence. Okay. Next, what we will do is calculating the term frequency inverse document frequency. Okay. So first thing is term frequency of T. How do we do calculate it? Count the term T in the document. Okay. Totally, total how many number of time a term is appearing. Term is here a word. Okay, is appearing in a particular document. Okay, so here in our case, one review is one document. Sorry. Okay, so one review is one document. Okay, by number of terms in the document, how many terms are there in the document? So in the, in the past document, there are you know, seven terms, right? So here it will be seven for the past document. Okay, so for example, TF movie it is going to give you one by eight as a tf okay uh, for uh, second document if there is a you know, total eight eight number of uh, word and the movie is appearing one time okay so it is going to give you one by eight so like that okay uh, and in the second uh, document a second review is is appearing two times so it is two by eight so i think you got to understand what is term frequency then document frequency we calculate that means in the no, no df is the number of total occurrence of the term t in the document set n that means how many times a term is appearing in the in all number of documents in movie df of the movie will be three because in we have three documents and all three movie is appearing one time okay so df of three will be sorry df of movie will be three but if it is a df of is, it become it becomes four because it is one, two, three, four. It is four times, right? So in the same way, there is inverse document frequency. So what is inverse document frequency? It is log of total number of document in our case it is three by document frequency df. All right. So, so for movie, we know that uh, DF for movie is three. We have total number of uh, document is three. So it is uh, you know, IDF of uh, movie will be log three by three equal to zero. Understand, clear? Next comes TF IDF. TF IDF is simply multiplication of TF with IDF. Okay, this is IDF. Okay, so simply we can multiply and we can calculate. Okay, now let's move the coding part okay so okay so we are creating our corpus here you can see uh, review one review two and review three we have okay and we have put it them in a List so this corpus becomes simply a list of four documents. Understand? Then what we need to do? 
we will just uh, do some pre-processing. Good thing is that we already have written all the functions for doing this preposition uh, preposition part, right? So what we will do, we will just uh, call these functions. So we are just uh, first tokenizing all the input, then we are converting to the lower case, then we are doing you know re removing the stop word, then we are removing the punctuation. Okay, if we run this. You can see yeah, convert to lower case is not defined. Okay, so we have this function here. Okay, so this function name is, I think, changed there. Sure. Okay. Again, stuff word, remove stuff words. Let's see, I think uh, again, that function name is not, mis uh, no, not matching with the function name we had defined. So remove stop word. Now count, this count stop word, then removing stop word. Okay, so okay, so we don't have this function here. I think uh, I have written here that is the reason I am calling this. So let's take this function from there. It is here. Stop words not defined. So it is stop words. Let me see once. Uh, give me one minute, please. Uh, stop ENG we had uh, defined here. So, so, so where is stop words? Uh, yeah. All right, so my function is ready. So let's see. Yeah, so you can see after doing on all the all these preprocessing, you can in the first sentence we have only three uh, words or tokens. For the second sentence also, movie scary and slow are there, and the third one movie spooky and good all this you know these these are the words are there in our hand okay so this is the first thing we need to do next we will go for uh, sorry we will go for doing the bag of word operation that means uh, you know um, we will do yeah we need to find out the unique vocabulary from there. Then only we can you know, generate that table and do this you know, present absent thing. Okay, so, okay. We have just, uh, we need this output in our variable, right? Okay. Yeah. 
so preprocessed is a variable in which uh, this processed uh, you know these values uh, are corpus is stored so just finding out the finding out the unique values into it or unique words into into this right so in, you know what is set set is a collection of terms or in a collection of uh, symbol whatever you want to say and uh, they, they are basically unique right in set no element you know repeats so we simply i'm doing set of you know making a set using all these you know terms available okay so if we do that it basically it will remove all the terms which are coming common okay or unique terms will be kept here okay so the, using this uh, set we can do this then we need to create the vocabulary right so let's create the vocabulary so you can see what we are doing here. We are just uh, I have just written a list of list uh, as variable name so that uh, we can understand what kind of uh, input we need to give to this uh, function. Okay, then we are creating an empty list. Okay, then count we have taken a counter and it is initiated to zero. When this counter is less than length of this list of list. So how many times it will iterate this loop while loop it will iterate basically for the each word in the list of list okay or is each element in the, in the list of list okay and what are the element here in the list of list the elements will be like another list okay so this is the example of list of list you can see okay you can see this extra brackets so this is a list and these are the small list inside it okay this is list of list so the while loop will give us a track on first list second list and so on okay and now in the first list for i in the list of list counter okay if i in list new and initially our list new is empty right then continue otherwise we append so it why we are doing this this is for again creating the vocabulary the same this is one way to doing it this is another way to doing it okay so you can say why this two way you are showing reason is that if you want to maintain the sequence of the word in what sequence they have been appeared in the original documents then you can follow the second method okay and if you don't care about the sequence, then you can simply take the set. Okay. So you will find in the inbuilt functions uh, in NLTK, uh, most of them, many of them uh, don't care about the sequence. They will give output like this. Okay. But if sometimes, you know, for a small data set, it becomes important, you can go with this. Okay. So this is one thing. Now, how we can calculate the term frequency? Did you remember I had told you the formula for time frequency? You can go back and you can see it is count of a term in document and number of terms in the document, right? So here we, we are doing this for each term and we are creating empty dictionary and in this we will uh, calculate the term frequency, okay? So this is appearing three times in all the document. Uh, movie is, uh, you know, three times and so on. Okay. <clears throat> so this is term frequency. Term. We have calculated. Okay. So these are the. They say these are not term frequency. These are number of times they are appear. All right. And these are the term frequency. Okay. For movie it is this uh, and so on okay so total number of word you know this term this three is divided by total number of words in all the documents okay so this value is coming this small understand three documents we have say 
uh, 7 plus 8 plus 7, uh, almost 15, uh, 22 number of words are there. So it is going to be a uh, term frequency of this is 3 by 22, which is like this. Okay. So, so this is uh, the way how we can manually calculate the term frequency. Then inverse document frequency. I've already told you how to you know, calculate inverse document frequency uh, manually in pen and paper. Now here we can see we are sending the corpus and we are sending the vocabulary, right? So that in the vocabulary, we can uh, check that, uh, you know, uh, uh, we can check that uh, there is words in the, which are available in the vocabulary and uh, how many times they are appearing in the corpus and how many documents are there, okay? So you can see the corpus, there are three items, we know this, right? So N is taking the length of corpus, right? So that uh, you can understand how many capital N I had already defined here, right? Capital N is what? As you see, number of document is capital N. So simply this uh, capital N, uh, N is the length of corpus which will give you three, okay? Uh, then it, we are taking a for loop, you know, I in vocab, that means for each word in the vocabulary, count equal to zero for cent in the corpus, for each sentence in the corpus, right? That means each, each row or each list in the corpus, whatever you want to say. If I in send or split, then count equal, count equal count plus one, and IDF dictionary we are maintaining, this is a dictionary. So from vocabulary, we will take one word and we calculate this value and we will insert okay so we have defined this function okay it will return us uh, this uh, idea of uh, dictionary okay so let's see let's call this function with corpus and vocab yeah you can see here what are the inverse document frequency for each of the term in the vocabulary, it is printed here, okay? Next is, yeah, TFIDF, hmm? the most, uh, mostly or uh, most popularly used thing. So it is nothing but multi multiply or multiplication between TF and IDF. And the result is called as TFIDF, okay? So, <clears throat> this result I need to print here. Okay. Okay. So this is the TF idea of different terms in your book. All right. Now, this is part of uh, basically word embedding, which is uh, called what? Bag of word. Okay. So we have tried to do a kind of bag of word here manually. Okay. But uh, let's see what result we get if we use the bag of word in built uh, you know uh, functions in the Python. Okay. So. See, for vocabulary list, uh, we are doing the same thing here. Yeah, we are doing the same thing here first. Okay. Next. Okay. We are taking vocab, we are called vocab list uh, and initialize it with, to, uh, no, sorry. Vocab list, we are sending tokens to this vocab list function, right? Then, you know, print vocabs, it will print uh, the vocabulary what is created by it, okay? Mm. So, if you just, uh, if you just uh, want to try it uh, out of it uh, to get a clear view that what it is going to do for you, okay? Okay, sorry, this is uh, right. 
Okay, so I have uh, I have signed here uh, tokens, but I don't have right. I should uh, send. Uh, I have what in this published. What you are printing here? I must already it here. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so we have vocab list. I have already shown you, right? Vocab list is uh, my function what I had written. So it is uh, that output. Okay, so we have I have already shown you. So this print is not needed here because I have already demonstrated this function. Okay, then we are taking a vector variable, which is a list type variable, right? For T in tokens, for that means for each token, what you are doing, we are printing the token first, then we are again, you know, reinitializing a new vector here. Then for W in vocab, right, vector dot append T dot count W. Okay. And, uh, and then uh, this vector is going to be again appended with vectors. Okay. So you can see this is vectors. And this is vector. Okay, these are not same. Understand? So it will become a list of list again. Okay. So vectorization is a function we have created. Okay. Okay. Next, what we can do here? List object is not callable vector list tokens vector list. Is equal to vectorize preprocessed. This preprocessed um, says token here. Then local vocab list. I'm sending here tokens. Right. But, uh, here I'm sending preprocessed. It is giving vocab list. Okay. It is getting maybe it is getting confused between these variable names. Okay. So if I just uh, run this first. Okay, then if I run it here, yeah, so basically due to this uh, collision of variable name, this error was coming. Okay, so you can see it is vectorized. Okay, and it is representing the whole sentence. Okay, uh, you can see one, one, one here, but in this original sentence, uh, there was, you know, uh six no no not original sentence the, in your vocabulary there is uh, basically uh, six words you can see one two three four five six so length of each vector become six and uh, after that it is doing simply an present absent thing by doing it uh, okay so this is what uh, you know the concept of bag of work okay now you create the same thing using SQLR. Okay, what we are going to do? We import an pandas, then an from SQLR and a count vectorizer and TFID vectorizer. We are calling then count back equal to this TFID vectorizer. In this, we need to send the n-gram basically n-gram range. So we are thinking about just you know, one order time so we are passing one comma one but if we are using one to generate 
you know bag of word or bigram you can send you know two comma two also okay stop words also we need to send so we are sending uh you know english stop words you need to use okay then uh, there is a transform function you know count data so count bag dot feed transform purpose okay so this is one part basically the another part is the uh, cv underscore data frame the pd data data three data, data frame you know that it is uh, used for creating a new data frame right so count data so this count data the two array so convert this to array okay then another uh, columns equal to what count vec count vec dot get feature names so understand so you are just here by doing this you are creating a data frame uh, whose column names will be this you know, terms in the vocabulary and uh, column values will come from this count data all right so if i run this yeah you can see this is the data frame is created which is uh, you can say bag of word okay it have one two three four five six yeah the interesting thing is that still we have you know six vocabulary and when you had done the same thing manually we had done you know six value uh, six, six terms in our vocabulary understand so the same thing happened and you can see here uh, you know the uh, sequence is not maintained so they are basically they are in the background they are using the set function so sequence is not maintained but in our case if you see sequence is maintained here all right so you know based on the situation you can choose okay then instead of giving time behind uh, too many things just uh, in short uh, i'm just uh, not going to explain much on this okay so this is what uh, this tf idf you can calculate by using this you know inbuilt function so okay so let me do it uh, step by step so that you can understand Manage. Okay, so you can see here with smooth, there is two options of using uh, this uh, TF idea vectorizer. Okay, one is one way is you use smoothing, another way you can just uh, not use the smoothing function. Okay, so TF idea vec equal to TF simply I'm calling this TF idea vectorizer from SQL and Fisher extraction dot text. Okay, so this is I'm calling you used IDF is true. Use IDF, sorry, smooth the IDF. No, we don't want to smooth the values. Then in gram range, we want uh, you know, one gram only and not using two grams or, or any other. Then stop word is English. These are the parameters we need to simply pass. Okay, then your uh, vectorizer will be ready. Now, your vectorizer's name is tf idf bit okay now tf idf data because now we do the transformation so tf idf data equal to tf idf bit but fit transform what was your original purpose you pass okay and then uh, what will happen this will have only raw values so you, you know this is you can say simple array which uh, uh, does not have the column names so we need to add the column names okay so how we can add it so we are creating a data frame in pandas pd you know pd is panda okay so panda data frame we are creating values are simply with this tf idf data to array so it is simply give a array of values okay and columns we are writing here tf idf big dot get feature names okay so it will uh, feature names are basically the vocabulary or words available okay so that will come here as a column and then it will be printed with smooth the same thing you know you can see the smooth idf is uh, true we made it true so it will just uh, smooth the values of idf before using it in the you know tf idf vectorizer okay 
and uh, with smoothing, we will see how the values are changing. If you see here, for long, for the you know, zero means the first review. Okay, for long, you have this value. This is the TF-IDM value. Okay, but uh, for smoothing, this is the value we are getting. Okay, if, when you are using smoothing of what? Uh, IDF. Okay, when you are smoothing the idea, this value is you can see a little low. Okay, so but in case of movie, it is higher. Okay, in case uh, no, it is again uh, yeah, it is low. Okay, in case of movie with smoothing, it is low. Without smoothing, it is high. Okay, so you can understand we can do the same thing you know, by using the inbuilt functions. Okay, so this is the part uh, I had to discuss about uh, the uh, no, this uh, work to beg thing next uh, i will go for the work embedding part okay 